So installing Chrome OS on your laptop is not an easy process but in this video I have shared a method which will help you to install it on your computer within minutes. So let's get started. So on your windows system, first visit the website that is in the description. Now you need to make sure your processor is listed on this list and there are different versions for different processor generations. For me it is going to be the Ryzen that is Zork. Similarly download the appropriate version for your processor and this file alone saves about half of the installation time. And uh, apart from this we will also download the Belina HR application that we are going to use to create the bootable pen drive. Now after you have downloaded the recovery image, you will find it that it is in the .rar format. So we need to right click and then extract it. And the extraction process will take a little bit of time. And once the process is done, you will see a folder with the recovery name and under it you will find the recovery.img image. So we are going to use this file. Now open the Balinature application and now select the file and select the .img file. Now after selecting the file, select your pen drive. And now we can start the flashing process. And the process is going to take a long time so just leave it at that. And now once it has finished, you need to make sure that you back up everything before proceeding. Now you need to power off your device and then press the power key plus the BIOS. And make sure you disable the secure boot and enable the UEFI option. Now using the boot key, you need to boot into your pen drive. And I will select my pen drive right here. And now you see two options, just select the first option. And if your processor is supported and everything, you will see this screen and then this on this screen it can take up to 30 to 40 minutes so just leave it at that finally we have the chrome os logo now when you see this setup screen you need to press ctrl plus function and f2 key on your keyboard and you will see this screen now here you will need to type chronos and hit enter now we will run some commands that is the lsbl key and to see your storage partitions and you need to select the biggest partition that you see for me it's going to be the sda that is 465 gb similarly find yours now we will run the installation command and you need to replace the sda with your own partition number and now here you need to type yes yes and then hit enter and the installation process will start and this can take up to 15 to 20 minutes as it did for me And once the installation is finished, uh, you will see this screen which says Chrome was installed. Now you need to press the Ctrl plus function and F1 button on the keyboard. And you will be back to the setup screen. Now here you need to use the quick toggles and switch off your device because this is still running from the pen drive. So use that option and then power off. Now you can remove the pen drive and then power on your computer. Now in the boot screen these Chrome OS settings option are for if you face any kind of issues regarding audio or mic. I will leave the link in the description if you face those issues. Now you will see this branch framework loading screen and it's going to instantly boot into the Chrome OS. Now complete the setup and add your Google account and everything. And with that we have successfully installed Chrome OS on our computer. And you can see that it says here welcome to your Chromebook because it's running the Chromebook version of Chrome OS. And you can open the Play Store and access all your uh, Android applications and games. So that's a very huge advantage here over the Chrome OS Flex. Now if you go to the settings, you can see that in the about section, uh, the Chrome OS version is not the latest. Because unlike the official Chrome OS, we cannot install the over the air updates. But uh, there is a simple method which you can use to manually ins install the updates. I will leave the video link in the description. And now you can f in the file manager you can see that it is uh, utilizing the entire space. So it is basically your primary operating system. So yes that was it for this video. If you have any questions leave them in the comments. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.